Right, we're recording. Sadly, I've had to record this again because I didn't realise that my last video actually went over fucking 15 minutes. Woo! Yeah. Anyway. Right, just want to quickly talk about um, drinking and things like that, you know, basically. Um, I have a glass here that my aunt brought me from Disneyland in Paris and I don't understand that somebody said it's supposed to be a pint glass but it doesn't look to me like a pint glass and doesn't really feel like when you pour it in it is a pint glass I think you get more out of that but am I right or wrong? who knows um drinking I don't drink and when I go to the pub I like to have pints of coke instead of anything else and I don't mind but what does really get on my nerves is when you go to a pub and they serve you a pint of coke and put fucking ice in it because they're not daft by giving you less coke and putting ice in it to make it look like there's more in the glass bastards, I hate that and I also hate the fact that some places actually don't serve it on a tap or or, or um, you know, basically, you know those, I think they're called a tap, you know what I mean, where you've got your sweat and your Coca Cola, your Diet Coke and you have to, you have to use one of them, um, pipe things and push a button and it pours, you know, out into the glass. I know there's a couple of places in Peterborough, don't want to name names, but there's one that doesn't do, that doesn't have that. Instead they use cans of Coca Cola, so, Generally, when you ask for a pint of Coke, I think they just give you the can of Coke, pour it into a glass and say, there you go. Not a full pint, may I add. And I think they do that with, they do that with half, I, I know, or I think they, they've done it, they've done it before where they've kept the half a can. Because somebody wants only half a Coke, and what they do is they pour so much of the can into the half thing, and then when you want to get, um, and then they keep the rest of it for later on when somebody else wants coke pretty bad idea in my opinion um, there's another place that doesn't actually have a, a, a tap thing but what they do have is they, they have bottles instead like instead of having say cans of coca cola they have like a bottle of coca cola but they keep it on the side so generally it doesn't it doesn't get cold sadly not chilled so when you get coke it's all done, they just pour it, you know, this is prone to getting like, you know, unfizzy before you know it. Um, the best way really is to have a tap. In fact, there's actually a place in Blackpool that's even worse. There's a hotel. And basically the hotel person who, who, who because I went to this hotel, and the person who runs it have got a bar. They've got a, they've got a pool table and a drink box and a fit machine in this bar. And sadly, the coke that he uses is not actually proper Coca-Cola or Pepsi. No, he buys it from Morrison's or some supermarket like that, and it goes to a cheaper brand. Which I'm kind of thinking that is wrong. That is wrong for any bar. It shouldn't happen like that. All bars, pubs, clubs, things like that should should be able to have the choice: Pepsi or Coca-Cola. You choose really and that's what you should have they should at least have a pump or a tap where they can get the um thing out of it and then you would have the choice of and then you would also have diet pepsi next to it and you'd have sweats or whatever next to it as well just because that's what people obviously want uh what i just say about um the thing about taking me to the pub if you're going to take me to the pub this is my ideal this is my ideal um, situation of going to the pub, basically, um, and it and it comes in four. So, hang on, no, 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 five actually. If these five things get done when I go to the pub, you'll make my night the best, the best, right? First of all, I want a pint of coke. So, if people are going to get the rounds in, I'm going to get some rounds in, well, I'm going to buy one person a, a, a drink, I don't, that'll be for what I don't have, so what what pint of lager or whatever I don't have, somebody will get one, anyway, 
But if somebody does actually buy a round of drink then I'm having a pint of coke. One. Two, I want a bar snack, I'm gonna need some peanuts and crisps. Because I'm gonna feel peckish, so I need to have I need a packet of crisps and a packet of peanuts. Mmm, yeah. Mm. Three we're gonna need some money so we can play pool. At least an hour or hour half or whatever. So we can play pool. Yep, gonna enjoy gonna enjoy that. Three starts. We're gonna play starts. We're basing this on that it's seven o'clock. We're going we're going to the pub about seven. And we're gonna come out about half eleven, twelve o'clock, so we're gonna we're gonna get a good couple of hours playing darts. And I'm gonna enjoy that. Lastly but not least, we're gonna need a bit of money for the jukebox. Um preferably the pub will have all these. So the pub will have bar snacks, the pub will have a dartboard and a pool table. And then there'll be a jukebox. Um, whip round, put some money in the, put some money in the um, thing, so if, so if we all have a whip round, so, um, let's put it to the equation, if you get, if it's three, three songs for a pound, so let's imagine you have to pay a pound to put money in the jukebox and get three songs, that'd be three, six, nine, twelve, so let's imagine what we've got, and that's fifteen songs in, in the space, in five, fifteen songs would be five pounds, so that's thirty songs for ten pounds. We could stretch to at least um, sixty. We could probably get about sixty records in, surely. In if we can get round to it, we could probably have enough. So that would be what. So if if we all chipped in with a couple of quid each, right? I'll go to the jukebox. I'll go. Or, I suppose, depending on when we get it, I'll go to the jukebox while, and then I'll pick all the music that we have on all night. Preferably, we'll think about songs that um, people like, and you know, so I don't mind picking the music. Um, something good, and that that is my my night, my night, and I'll be happy with that, you know. Um, it would be okay, you know, me and somebody, you know, me and, a, me and a nice girl, but I don't mind if we had a couple of other people tag along, you know, and what a night it would be. Can't go wrong with that when it comes to, um, when it comes to, you know, if it had to be an alternative night, I would suggest something like karaoke, but me going on that karaoke machine in front of everybody, I don't think so. I would feel a bit, but then again, I, but then again, you never know, you never know. But anyway, that is it for now. So, uh, ciao.